Happy today, good news. The bedroom is finally finished. Done. <coughs> Dusted. Finished. List all done. Every single bit done. So absolutely delighted. Well, I have to box in the wardrobe, run an extra plug off the ring main, gloss the window frame, paint the radiator, or make a radiator cover, on oh, a new life fitting. Yep. That's pretty, bedroom done, done. So, um, the shelves, I put these shelves up, which I spoke about last week, which were which were great, I was delighted with them. Um, I didn't film any, any of it, unfortunately, but I'll, I'll put in a, a picture um, now. So, you would have just seen the picture of the shelves. So, yeah, um, I ended up doing oak, cherry, not sapelia, it was, it was oak, cherry wood, and then walnut. The, the oak was just, you know, plant, uh, plain sanded and Danish oil. They were fitted with these hidden, hidden fixings. So little bolts are going back, like this, which were pretty cool, because they come in a camber, so, you, you put them in, um, and then if you're not 100% level, you can just, with a little wrench, twist that around, and the it changes the camber up and down. Pretty difficult to see that. But if you look there, you'll see the uh, shaft isn't completely centered, it's off center. So obviously as you turn that, you know, you got like five or six mil between the top and the bottom. But no, probably three mil. But that's enough to, to level it up. So. They're pretty good. Um, I ended up actually having to cut because the only drill bit I had was a, a flat bit. So I ended up having to cut the top off and grind them down to make them smooth. But it, it was fine, perfect. Um, and then the walnut, uh, I ended up doing a little shelf because that was my little man war, uh, man shelf uh, for bits and pieces. So I ended up getting some malleable iron. Uh, you can see the little um, hanger I built. Uh, this stuff's really oily, so I had to clean it right down. Stick a bit of lacquer on it, uh, and perfect, yeah, and, and with, with the flanges, I actually used the, the walnut shelf is fixed to the wall with the, the flange of the malleable iron. There's no hidden fixing in the back, and it's rock solid. Um, so I have a few more of these fittings. I think I'm gonna make another shelf, because it was, it, it's class, it was, it was really nice, I was delighted with it, um, and it looked really, really good at the end. Um, so that's it, yeah, so bedroom done. I, I'm free from domestic duties in the house, and I'm ready to get back in. Um, so my plan is to do a little project now. Um, so I'm not quite sure what I want to do, although I've been promising a, a chopping board to the wife, or she must be obeyed, for a, a, a good a good while actually. So while I'm in the good books, I reckon I should keep going. So uh, I've got an, the chopping board that we have at the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plane that down, stick some one on the end use that but while I'm at it and while I'm gluing and while I'm doing everything else I'm going to make a new chopping board as well um, probably a smaller one because uh, that's quite a big beefy one so I'm going to see what I can find I'm not sure what I'm going to do really I think I'll just go with it see how it turns out and, and see how we get on really so that's it uh, I'll, as usual I'm going to time lapse everything so we'll, we'll go through it anything that's particularly difficult or awkward I'll explain at the end um, yeah that's it right let's go
Okay, done. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Um, you can see how it's turned out. Um, I've only given it one coat of the uh, food safe oil, which is this stuff here. I just bought it on Amazon. Uh, I just was in a rush, so just whatever I could find on Amazon Prime. Um, so uh, I'm not quite sure what's in it, to be honest. I think um, we've got uh, zebrano wood, walnut, uh, purple heart, more walnut, uh, oak. Um, I think there's a tiny bit of teak in there as well. And I'm not sure, I think... I think a bit of um, sycamore might snuck in by accident. You, I don't know if you noticed in the video, I, I obviously had that piece on that side, and then I just found a tiny little, well, a big crack. So that was a bit gutting, but all I could do really was cut it off. But it's not disastrously small. I think it's fine for what it is. Um, you can see as I was planing it, I, I obviously didn't go end grain, because I think if it was end grain, it'd look amazing. You can kind of see what it's like end grain there. So I think the plan is to do the next one end grain and maybe do checker pattern or something. But I just wanted to do something quick and I needed a chopping board, so so there it is. But no, I'm happy. Um, I was gonna put a red around the edges, but I quite like the square sort of look. Um, well, hopefully she'll be happy. That's the main thing. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I'm pretty happy. Stuck my little uh, maker's mark in. She turned out well. Um, so yeah, that didn't turn out too bad in the end. Well deserved beer, I think. Ah, so yeah, that was it. So um, playing it with the uh, plain eye board, which is uh, <laughs> I like that. I think I need to get one. Um, yeah, done, dusted. So uh, again, it's a quick video. I want to try and do something a bit more um, substantial uh, next week. Um, although I've done a few things, um, but I just seem to be filming things. I did a nice little. Uh, a uh, three-part bowl, uh, which I might put a, st a picture at the very end, just so you can see what it looks like. Uh, I also did a little um, blank I made, really, just a bit of a, uh, to see how it went. So you can kind of see what I've done there. I've, I've actually cut out um, a little uh, channel and filled it with resin. Now, in fairness, I stole this, I copied this from, I think it's Andy Phillips. Uh, I'll put his link in the description. Uh, he did a much better version, but you can only see my problem there is, uh, I only used a bit of duct tape. Well, it was my first one, so I was playing around. I actually duct taped it to the bench and hoped that would hold the epoxy in, but you can see a little bit's leaked out. Uh, and the, the blank really isn't deep enough to, to lose that, so I think I'll uh, put some duct tape around it, fill it back up with a bit more resin, and then turn it. But I think it's going to turn it pretty cool. So I think what I'll do is maybe next week or the week after, I'll probably make a new blank from scratch, and I'll turn that so we, we can see how it looks. Alright, so that's it. That's my video done. Uh, I'll stick it up and hopefully you like it. Uh, comments are uh, certainly welcome. Although I know I should have done this end grain, so you don't need to tell me that. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, happy days. I'll put a few stills up with the decent lights inside so you can see what it really looks like. Um, and that's it. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. See you soon. Bye bye.